Alpha Outpost <clears throat> box opening. But I have a subscription to BattleBox now. So guess what we're going to do today? We're going to be hopping in, enjoying the BattleBox. Um, the music you hear in the background, I do not own the rights to. Like, subscribe, and comment in order to enter yourself in, in order to win yourself a randomly selected item from BattleBox. If you comment on a Alpha Outpost video that I made, you will possibly win a randomly selected item from Alpha Outpost. If you comment on a battle box video you will win or possibly win a randomly selected item from battle box um so we're gonna go ahead and try to get into this and we'll, as normal we're gonna go ahead and cut it open and get down to it <clears throat> as always want to give a shout out to grunt style for introducing me to Alpha Outpost, Alpha Outpost for introducing me to BattleBox. I know it seems a little weird, one subscription to be uh, promoting another one, but it's a very respected thing amongst the uh, boxes, and I actually enjoy all the boxes or all the subscription I get for the month. <clears throat> so today we'll be doing the BattleBox box opening. As always, with my good old Grunt Style, I mean, not Grunt Style, uh, Alpha Outpost Raptor Claw. Go ahead and open it up. All right, let's see what we got. All right, um, so this these boxes are a little bit different from the Alpha Outpost boxes. Usually Alpha Outpost has a card sitting on the very top that lets you know everything that's in the box. Um, I believe this one has one. Um, okay, I guess it wasn't in this one. So we'll just jump straight to it. We'll skip past everything. Um, so, starting off, you have uh, Zulu Throwing Knives from uh, DEFCON 5. Get three of those in this box. That's pretty cool. Um, I've only heard about DEFCON 5 as of recent, um, but all the things I heard from their um from their products are great things so can't wait to open this up and start playing with that um okay that's cool uh battle box bean go ahead and open this up Off to the side uh indigo and ice gray blue okay so this is a reversible beanie Oh, that's cool. So even on the reverse side, it does have the battle box symbol on it, as you can see. Bam, this actually says battle box all the way across. This just has the battle box logo on it, which is really cool. All right, go ahead and kick that off to the side. Let's see. Um, Valley Food Storage, Iris Pub uh, Potato Soup Serving Pouch for Two. Uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. Okay, so Valley Valley Food Storage is a is freeze dried food. Um, according to this, wow. So according to this, the um, paper I just checked out. This pouch has a 25 year shelf life, 
no preservative and real ingredients. Ooh, ooh, good hands. Um, which is really cool because a lot of these things only last for a few years and you know how things get, you know, you want to have them like have, have some life to them. So 25 years, I don't, I wouldn't want to test it out after like up to the 20, 20th year, but supposedly 25 years. So if, I don't know if that's true, but if that's what they claim, we just gonna go off their word for right now. All right, let's see what else. What's this? Uh, fiber lighter. Okay, okay. So that's this. Um, so this is a fire kit. Um, includes a fiber lighter starter and a fiber lighter mini fuel rod. So. Looks like an Altoid can. Go ahead and. Oh, okay. So what this actually is is this is actual fiber, and this is a fire starter you can use to start a fire while you are camping. That is pretty cool, and it's in this nice little um, aluminum case. And with this super rubber band, and what it looks like, um, it keeps it closed, keep all the contents on the inside. So travel, it won't just up and pop open. Your fiber fill all out. Fiber flies all out. All right, let's see what's this. Bushcraft rope lighter. Absolutely can't be blown out. Okay. Oh. Open this up. Oh, this is pretty nifty. <laughs> so this is a rope lighter. Um, as you can see. So what happens is, <clears throat> before you start using this, you will burn this end of the rope to start it. Uh, and then once you're ready to use, you'll bam, you'll light it. It'll light, and when you're ready to put the fire out, you'll pull down on the roll, so the fire or the part that's on fire will come down in a cylinder, and that ball will snuff out the fire by canceling out the air. That's pretty nifty. It claims it won't go out, so guess if it's in the wind, it won't go out. Um, you actually actually have an extra rope in here. So that's really awesome looking. Huh. You don't see stuff like this very often. Um, the directions are very simple. They're on the back of it. Um, like I said, before you start using it, you have to burn the rope to start it. To give it that uh, ash. Flick it and bam, there you go. Off to the side. Um, also, it comes with a little uh, promo code. And also, you can follow it on uh, Firewire Light Fire Starters on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. All right. So, in glow. Um, so this is the mark your bags. So this glows in the dark. Um, you leave this out in the light, and once everything is set alone, once it absorbs the light, this will start glowing in the dark. So like if you're out hiking late night, or if you're gonna set your bag somewhere, you wanna identify your bag, this will help you navigate to your bag. Give a little personal touch. All right, what's this? So, solar lighter survival kit or survival tool. So, I don't know about many people, but growing up, you know, people used to play with mirrors to set stuff on fire, you know, little experiments in school. So, this is pretty much a, a way to set stuff on fire 
So I, I would uncover this, but the reflection from this to the camera and the light will probably just mess up the camera. But um, yeah, that's pretty interesting. So go ahead and stuff that back in there. Uh, so this, that's the battle box box, the battle box box opening, battle box box, hmm. a little tongue twister there. Um, I didn't really go too far deep into the items here. Um, a lot of them are pretty self-explanatory fire starter kit, a rope lighter direction on here. Uh, the bush, the bushcraft rope lighter needs no fuel. Um, it is the wick that burns. All you have to do is char the top of the new wick by applying a match to it. After that, all that is necessary is to raise the wick within range of the spark wheel about a fourth. Turn the wheel, sparks night, and you have fire. Uh, to extinguish, you pull down on a wick, thus cutting off the air, and the wick ceases to burn. Just that simple. See? Um, promo tool food. Um, Valley Forge storage. I meant Valley Food storage. Um. Camping survival emergencies, freezer dry food, no GMOs, artificial ingredients, no fillers, no junk ever. So you're pretty much getting like real deal stuff in here, which is amazing because most preservatives has like a bunch of stuff to actually preserve them. So you're not getting that healthy, that health to it. So with this food, it's supposedly supposed to be the one of the healthier things out on the market. And as far as the Zulu throwing knives, um, they seem very sturdy. I want to open it, but I really don't want to open I want to open it, and I really don't want to open it at the same time, but uh, I guess I'll go ahead and open it real quick. I'm going to go ahead and move this box out the way and open this. <laughs> Not really one for finesse. want to get to knives which are encased in a separate they really got these things in there there we go all right so that's number two go ahead and take these off in this case sorry have a symbol facing up there you go and bam alright this third one is going to be a pain so let's see or maybe not Okay, so the third one would be the easiest because I pretty much trashed the case that so was uh, So we're gonna go ahead and throw that away. All right. So that will be number three. Take the little plastic tips off. There we go. Turn it around so the DEF CON sign can be out. And three for three. 
in the slot it goes. Bam. And roll it up to and and it has a little holder for it. Pretty nifty. Really compact. Little 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 bulky, but for its own personal carrying case, that's actually really nice. And as most people that deals with knives they will know, having a nylon case is really awesome to have, but the sharp tips of any knife or weapon after being in nylon for so long will start to rip the nylon. These actually have their own plastic sheaths that they are slotted into. So there's no damaging the nylon carrier itself. So that is a big difference for this product. And I think that's like really cool. And that is going to bother me that that is in the wrong. I'm sorry, guys. That was in the wrong way. I put that the right way. Go ahead and get that in there. I was looking at the words and that one's wrong. All right. But yeah, that's. Say fold, 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 and one last time, and good to go. Um, that was my battle box opening for February. Uh, stay tuned. Hopefully, I have more content from Battle Box at a later date. This is your guy Jay signing out. Y'all have a great night, great day, great wherever time you're watching this. Have a good one.